What's going on everyone? Meteorologist Mike Linden coming at you with yet another My Radar tutorial video. And of course, if you are new around here to the YouTube channel, subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell as well. That way you always know whenever we drop a new video. So today we're going to be talking about the radar and within this layer, you can change up the look of the My Radar app to customize it to exactly how you want it to look. So let's jump right in, right there at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna start here. You can play and pause the radar information. And then if you grab that little playhead, you can drag it to the left and to the right to find an exact moment in time that you want to see. Now, if you want to customize the look of the radar, you have to go into the layer menu. It's right there on the bottom left corner of the screen, or third one from the left rather, and it looks like a stack of cards. It's layering. So let's click that, and right at the top of the layer menu, you can see the radar. You have four options, classic, high def, temperature map, and then the per station feature, which is a premium feature, but we will jump into that in just a moment. Let's start with classic radar, and we'll jump back in. So this is what classic looks like. It is your what you will see pretty much on radars all across the, the world. This is kind of the typical radar look and color table. We jump back into the layer menu, click high def, and this kind of smooths things out a little bit. Again, it, it's all of your preference, whatever you want the radar to look like. And then we jump back in and you can click temperature map. And within this, it will show you a really neat map of what the temperatures are in the United States. This is really cool in the winter, especially when you see the polar jet streams sinking in through Canada, really bringing that cold air to the United States. And then the per station option, which again is a pro feature, but notice all the little radar sites all over the US. Within this, tap on a radar, and then that will give you the radar information just for that radar site. You have two options in the bottom left-hand corner now. You have reflectivity, that's what the little raindrop icon is to see rain and weather like that. And if we want to see the velocity, it's the wind waves right next to it. And this is key during severe weather, during severe weather season. Green being winds going toward the radar site and red being winds going away from it. So the, this is really important when you are trying to track tornadoes. And right there on the right, you can change the elevation of the radar. Uh, this is again, very, very helpful, not only during severe weather season, but just in your general purpose weather tracking as well. And that is a pro feature. Let's change it back to high def and then jump into the radar menu. And once again, very customizable. Opacity, that is basically whether or not you want it to be kind of faded on the map, the radar information that is, or if you want it to be really vibrant. You can also change the speed of the radar. To the left, it's the turtle, so slow things down. And then the rabbit or the hare on the right where you can really ramp up the speed of the radar. You can change the loop interval between five and 10 minutes. The loop length from 60 minutes to 90 minutes to 120 minutes. You can also change or turn on and off the animation slider at the bottom of the app. And you can also turn on storm centers and lightning. So let's do that and I'll show you exactly what that looks like on the map. There is a storm center. You can see it right there, right up near Lake Superior. And this is showing us that the storm is moving toward the northeast at 35 miles per hour. And then as far as lightning goes, let's zoom in. Can you see those flashes of lightning? Well, there you go. That is showing you where there is currently lightning on the map. So that's it. So much you can do within the radar layer. Jump in and try it out for yourself. Of course, if you haven't already, click like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.